This video is sponsored by Neural DSP. <laughs> Welcome back to Thick Riff Thursday, ladies and gentlemen. Today is a very exciting episode because we are writing a riff with the Neural DSP Nano Cortex, and I'm super excited about it. I've been playing around with this unit for a few weeks now, and it's incredibly powerful in such a small package. I can tell you right now, this is gonna be my new all-in-one guitar travel rig. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna dial up some awesome tones on this thing, and we are gonna write a riff using a rhythm tone, a clean tone, and a lead tone. Maybe a crunch tone. We'll get some crunch action going on in there. But yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna write a banger of a demo song. Yeah, let's get into it. All right, so let me take you through my rhythm tone really quick, which is actually super, super simple. It is Nolly's chip off the old block neural capture. This capture is basically an entire rig in one capture. It's a TS-808 tube screamer into a 5150 into a Mesa cab using an SM57 and a 421. And it sounds really, really great already. All I did to it was I changed the EQ settings a little bit. So I scooped the mids, raised the treble quite a bit up to about nine o'clock just to get that bite, get some extra bite in there. So here's what the capture sounded like before those EQ changes. Sounds great, it's just a little dark. So to modernize it a little bit. I added the noise gate here. I've got it cranked all the way up 100%. I'm not using any of the post effects right now. I'm not using the pitch shifter right now, but those are available. When I dial in a lead tone later on in the video, I'm definitely gonna use these post effects. But yeah, right now that is the rhythm tone. It is super simple. Typically captures are not gonna be an amp head and a cab at the same time. So if the capture we were using did not have a cab included, we could also pick a cab down here and out of the box, it starts you off with these five cabs, but you can load any cabs from the Cortex cloud into the Nano Cortex cab slots there. So with that said, let's record this riff. Okay, so my riff idea for today, at least to start off with, is kind of like a really fast rhythm. And I'm doing this ugly chord. It's okay, listen, the chord is ugly, but when you give it context, it's not ugly at all. It's actually very pretty and melodic, very cutesy, very mindful, very demure. So I'm playing this uh, major seven interval here. But we're actually in C minor which is here on the fourth fret. So we're just hanging out on that flat six scale degree, playing a major seventh above that with that note. So it's like, it's, it's very dissonant and it is kind of ugly, but when you give it context, it's not as ugly as one might seem. And my idea for giving it context is to start off the song with a clean guitar idea, kind of set the mood first, and then have those clean guitars continue over into that riff. So we're gonna try it out. I think it'll be cool. We're gonna record the riff idea first, then we're gonna go back and do clean guitar layers on top of that. So we'll see how it goes. I think the idea is gonna be pretty cool. Maybe 146, let's try 146. <laughs> Sick. Yes, exactly what we were looking for. All right, you guys know the drill. We got the scratch take. Let's put our drums in here. So one of the coolest things about the Nano Cortex is that it is an interface. You can record the printed tone and you can record the DIs straight from the Nano Cortex 
via USB-C. It's also powered via USB-C, which is amazing for travel. If you're on the go and you want a travel rig, this is it right here. So for me right now, I do want to get the printed tone. I'm not too worried about getting the DI, but if I wanted to get the DI as well as the printed tone, the printed tone comes through inputs three and four, but the DI comes through inputs one and two. So if I wanted to get the DI as well as the printed tone, I could duplicate this track, hit input one and two. Actually, since it's a DI, I really only need input one. So I can make that a mono track because I'm not worried about recording any stereo effects. And then I can record enable both of these tracks and I could get my printed tone as well as my DI at the same time. And there we go. We got both the printed tone and the DI. But for today, I'm happy with just getting the printed tone. All right, so we've got my scratch take of this riff idea. Let's get my drums in there. All right, sick. Let's get the cymbals. Sweet, that was actually pretty good. All right, before we start getting takes, I'm actually gonna throw it into tuner mode, which all we have to do is hold down both of these pedal buttons here, and then we're in tuner mode, and it shows on the app, and it shows here too. So these four lights here around the knobs, they'll light up, and when they're in the middle two, and they start flashing, that string is in tune. There we go. And to get out of it, you just, Press those two buttons in again. You don't have to hold them. Just tap them and you're back. That was good, I think. Dude, this riff has kind of like an old school spirit box vibe to it. Some older like 2019 spirit box vibes. Belcara, beauty of suffering type beat. That was a good take. I think there's a comp in there. Yeah, that fill is good. You know what? I'm realizing now that on the first take I got, the fill is incorrect. It kind of works as a harmony though. Kind of like the harmony. I did that on accident. I didn't realize I was doing that, but it's kind of dope. All right, real quick, let's get the bass, which we are just going to copy the kick and snare MIDI onto the bass track. Now we just gotta program this fill. And these are gonna be pull-offs actually, so let's change the articulation to pull-off. All right, now that we have the main riff in here, let's mess around with some clean ideas. The Nano Cortex actually has an amazing clean guitar preset called Clean My Dreams. How awesome is that? And actually there's a Clean My Dreams octave as well. Which would be great for a melody. Man, that reverb is so long. We're getting Tesseract as f up in here. There we go, that's cool. I was looking for a B section. I was looking for something else to switch it up with, and that was cool. Ah, oh, my hand got stuck. <laughs> my hands are sweaty. I don't know if that ever happens to you guys where you're trying to slide, but your hands are sweaty so you don't quite get there. <laughs> that sucked. Hell yeah. So I'm thinking the intro could be that clean melody with a chord progression on it. Do 
it would actually be sick to do a reverse version of this reverb tail. Yeah, dude. I think we got to produce this up a little bit. Let's add like a sub bass. I'm thinking we can add a lo-fi track that kind of swells in here. Hell yeah, we need some splice samples. Reverse symbol as well, maybe. All right, I'm gonna go back to my rhythm tone because we got some more riff writing to do. I like that. That's cool. That's a cool idea for this second section. I also think it's gonna be like more of a solo section as well. I wanna do something like that at the end. I'm not sure exactly what yet. That's cool. That's a cool little fill. I think we're gonna pick up the tempo here too, or not the tempo literally, but like double time the drums. That'll be sick. And then we'll do snare on two and four. All right, we gotta get good takes of this riff now. Nice. Okay, and then I wanna go back into the main riff there. All right, so real quick, let's load up a lead tone. We're gonna go show all presets, empty, create new preset. I think the one I was vibing with was John's channel three and the 412. Let's hear it. Yeah, that'll be good. Noise gate just to clean it up and then delay and reverb, of course. Nothing crazy on the reverb, we can turn that down. Hell yeah. That's a lead tone right there, brother. There we go, let's just noodle around. Let's just noodle around till we get some good ideas. We need a fret wrap. We are going to need a fret wrap. Yeah, if we're gonna be doing shit like that, we're gonna use a fret wrap. I'm not trying to be here all day. Okay, we can do it. I know I can play it fast enough. <sighs> All right, it's possible. the solo dude we f figured it out there we go all right let's see if we can do it again oh my lord I haven't actually written a solo in a long time like this is the first time I've written a solo in like I don't know six months no, not even, probably more like nine. A little tip for guitarists, when you're playing leads, slow your vibrato down. I, I think I, I see too many people doing vibrato like this. Like shaking your whole arm. Just get into it, slow it down. Know what I mean? It just, it feels better. Man, it, 
was it was actually pretty good until that fast run. Yeah, let's just get that ending separately because everything else is is good. <laughs> This lick got faster. I don't know what happened. The song got faster. This isn't what it was 10 minutes ago. I'm losing my mind, man. That was okay. You know what? The ending of that, or not the ending, but the second half of that lick was not bad. Hell yeah, dude, we got a comp. We got a comp, finally, Jesus Christ. We finally have the solo that took forever. I remember now why I don't write solos. <laughs> there we go, we got a riff, boys. All right, let's throw the mastering chain on there and give it a listen. dude i love it that's awesome dude i love that middle solo section vibe like picking up the pace of the drums a little bit bringing in that chord progression from the intro but like doing it twice as fast that was cool it's a fun vibe right there well there we go we saw the studio capabilities of the nano cortex in action i really like the workflow i have with this thing again i think it's going to be my go-to travel rig another thing i i could also do with it is kind of use it as a stomp box so i could get a capture of a pedal that i want like the horizon precision drive for example load it on here as a capture and go into the nano cortex as a stomp box and i can just have any pedal that i want that i can get on the Cortex Cloud as a capture. I also plan on capturing my Orange Dark Terror that I have back there on the bookshelf with the Nano Cortex and trying out its capture capabilities. Um, so if you guys wanna see that, let me know in the comments. All right, thank you guys for watching. I hope you have a great rest of your day and I'll see you guys next week. Peace.